In the summer of 2019, my son and I went on a really long, epic road trip, about five weeks. We went from Florida all the way up to Washington and back. We made a lot of stops along the way. This was one of my favorite stops. Come on, let's go. Somewhere along the interstate in Florida, behind a very dirty windshield. Ice cold wind, sleet, and snow. Not exactly the welcoming committee we were hoping for, but like many things in life, you have to dig through some bad in order to get to the good. And the good that lies on the other side of this cold wall of sleet and snow is a light that shines down on one of the most breathtakingly beautiful locations in the United States, Grand Teton National Park. An epic vista filled with towering snow-capped peaks, a tranquil babbling brook, and birds buzzing the surface of the water at amazing speeds. I quietly approach the water's edge to get a better look. There is an entire ecosystem at play here. Let's take a closer look and see what we can find. And look at this beauty. This is a Barrow's golden eye duck, and it's pretty easy to see where it gets its name from. Look at that eye. And this was my first time seeing this gorgeous bird, and the current conditions were perfect for photographing this beauty. I got down low to get a nice head-on perspective, and I chose an aperture of 6.3 in hopes of getting just the bird's face in focus and a little of its body as well. This proved to be a great combination for some amazing images. I really love the overall color on this bird, and the water drops clinging to its head are just simply amazing. And you see that tiny brown thing standing up on the bird's chest? Yep, that would be a leech trying to photobomb my shot. Go figure. And as the duck slowly turns to face me, I can't help but think its face has changed from a happy, curious look to more of an irritated, angry look. So let's give this duck some space and see what else we can find. A little further to the west, high up among the rain-soaked sagebrush, a mighty fabled predator of ancient legend silently stalks its prey. Wait, that's a juvenile red-tailed hawk. And apparently it's a little camera shy. Hey, Hawk, uh, we're trying to make a gripping story here about predation. Would you mind stepping out from behind the sage? Uh, apparently not. All right, then. We'll come back a little bit later. What do we have here? This is a cute little fox sparrow, and this bird is quite busy scratching through the leaf litter in search of food. But what is that thumping sound? Oh, wow. That was really weird. Could it be this marmot who has conquered the old tree limb? I don't think so. Let's check back in along the riverbank and see what we can find. Hey, what's this? Oh, it's a merganser, and apparently it's busy practicing its snorkeling skills. But I'm a little bit more interested in this. A tiny bird that flies by so fast, they're gone before you can blink. The tree swallow. What are these little aerial wonders doing? Let's take a closer look at this one as it comes in just a few inches from the surface of the water. Do you see that speck there on the surface? Right there? That's some type of insect. And I'm going to guess from this shot that this insect is currently on the breakfast menu. And look at that. No more insect. I guess this swallow has lived up to its name. And apparently with that look, this bird isn't too happy with my attempt at humor. Another tree swallow comes in, its mouth open and ready for a tasty snack but it misses the target completely. When successful, these tiny birds can eat up to 2,000 insects per day. Wow, that's pretty cool. It keeps some of the mosquitoes out of there. And if at first you don't succeed, then you gotta try again. Ah, success. And my favorite shot of the swallow is because it illustrates the skill, hard work, and dedication they have. And apparently all of that hard work has drawn the attention of a cute little spotted sandpiper, who's also eager for a bite to eat and this bird appears to have found a plentiful bounty. Let's go check in on our young red-tailed hawk. There's our brave young hunter now, so casually perched on an old rustic fence post. This high vantage point gives the bird the element of surprise, and it isn't long until it catapults off its perch. With its wings open and talons at the ready, whatever is in this bird's sights doesn't stand a chance, but its leap of faith has sent it into the thick sage again, what in the world is this bird hunting? Whatever it is, it must have missed because it's at it once more. You've got to love this bird's persistence 
and its graceful disposition as it descends upon some poor unfortunate creature hiding below. And once again, right back into the sage. But hey, wait, listen, there's that thumping sound again. What the heck is that? I know it's not this adorable little bear cub who is way too busy checking out the world while lying playfully on its back. This bear pair went through quite the journey and will be the subject of their own video a little bit later. Let's make another trip down to the river and see what's happening down there. Back down by the river and a couple of white pelicans casually mingle on the shoreline. But this beautiful yellow warbler has my full attention. I'm lucky to see these birds one or two days out of the year at home. Having one playing on the rocks along the river is like finding gold to me. Not exactly camouflage down here among all this colorful foliage, but wow, what a cutie. I think this bird is also interested in the bugs down here on the water. And I just happen to be in the right place at the right time because this yellow warbler gets closer as it strategically hops from rock to rock looking for a tasty morsel. There we go. What a nice pose. But that piece of grass is a little distracting. Let's see if we can do some magic to make it disappear. Ah, there we go. That's much better. All right, let's go check back in on our young brave hawk. There's our fearless hunter now, and it looks like this bird is finally ready for its moment in the spotlight. Will we finally get to see why this bird spends so much time down in that sagebrush? Hey, it looks like it got something. This could be the moment we've been waiting for. What is this bird doing? And did it even catch anything? Aha, there it is. Oh, well, no. <laughs> well, what did this bird get? It's an earthworm. <laughs> well, hey. What do you do after a busy day of hunting earthworms? You take a much needed break and enjoy the cold rain with a belly full of tasty food. All right, let's leave this bird alone and head to the top of Signal Mountain. Legendary wildlife photographer Steve Mathis told me we might find something interesting up there. Let's go see. Onward we travel, putting those beautiful mountain peaks in our rear view mirror, passing vibrant lush meadows filled with flowers and beautiful hawks, pausing to watch a beautiful sandhill crane casually walking through the willow thickets and wondering how in the world this little chickadee has managed to hang upside down while keeping its head right side up. <laughs> wow. And then we locate this fine specimen of a bird, the dusky grouse. Look at him go. This boy is hungry. Our dusky grouse was nice enough to give us one interesting pose before disappearing into the underbrush. And that's when I noticed that odd thumping sound again. But this time, it was right behind me. I turn around and find this, a ruffed grouse. What just happened there? Let's see it one more time. And now you know if you're ever out in the forest surrounding the Tetons and you hear this thumping sound, it's most likely a ruffed grouse. What'd you think of that grouse? It was pretty wild, wasn't it? That, I've never seen anything like that. Um, my son and I searched for that bird for or for the source of that sound because we didn't know what it was for a while. We searched for days looking for that. We would be out in the middle of the woods photographing uh, bears and birds and all kinds of stuff and suddenly you'd hear this like low subsonic thump, thump. We would both kind of look at each other and go, what the heck is that? So we got lucky enough and finally found it. It's a grouse. So if you're ever out there and you hear some low subsonic sound it sounds like bass from a car or a, or a hot rod really far off in the distance that's probably what it is one of those grouse what do you think about the video what do you think about the grouse all those cool birds let me know in the comments below don't forget to click the thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed yet go ahead and do that and if you found this video entertaining share it that's really really helpful and until next time i'll see you later